Hi, I'm here with the Artifone Corder. Let's make some music. Now this video isn't sponsored by Artifone, but I am able to offer an exclusive 10% discount for the first 10 people to use the discount in the description below. If you missed out on that, consider giving us a like, a subscribe, turn on the notifications, and then you'll be one of the first to hear about the next video. And hopefully you can be one of the first 10 to get a discount next time. Okay, so the Corda follows on from the Orba, and this is the Orba 2, and this was a very popular product from Artifone. Again, this is a music creation device, but it also works as a standalone instrument. This is a very compact form factor, and you can see with the Corda that they've stretched this out and given you uh, more of a keyboard or guitar uh, kind of look. Um, in addition to that, it's not just the look that's changed, you've got a few extra features. You have the bridge here, which you can use to strum chords and notes, more on that later. You also have an inbuilt arpeggiator, and you're also able to sample your own sounds into this if you use the app. Now, you don't have to use the app to get this working, it will work straight out of the box, but I'd strongly recommend the first thing you do is connect it to the app. You can use your phone, your tablet, or your laptop to connect this via Bluetooth or via USB and then you can update the firmware straight away. You can then start to play with the additional sounds that are available within the app. Now we'll play with all of those new features while we make a little bit of music. So let's get this connected up to the laptop and then we can start. Okay, so we've got the corder hooked up via USB. Let's go into my uh, laptop here. Now what I'm going to do to start with is start a new song. So this is going to be, let's call this a test. First of all, let's go into the play section. Now we have our standard sounds. You can see here that the drum light is on. Now what we can do is just go in and select a drum kit that we like. This one I think is quite nice, sort of electronic-y thing. Okay, good. Then what we can do is we can use the built-in arpeggiator. To do that, we select with the A button and then we select the arpeggiator, the sixth uh, button here. Uh, so we're on the drum track, we've got the arpeggiator on now, we can see that. And then if we touch a key, so if I touch, for example, the hi-hat key, then you can hear that that's playing a rhythm. You can change the rhythm depending on where you put your finger on the pad. So the higher up, the quicker the rhythm is. So you can hold down the hi-hat like that. So first of all, let's start with a drum track then. Uh, we go off to the play section here in the app, and at the top here you can select your tempo. So let's go a little bit slower. Let's go something like 75. So next, uh, all we have to do is hit record, and it will start a click, and then once you start playing, it will start the loop. When you finish playing, you press stop, and then you can start overlaying parts as well. Now before we start recording, in this section here, you have a section called drum quantization. You can have that off, so it's just whatever you play. You can have it snap to the grid, so that's to the nearest 16th note of whatever the tempo is you've set. Or you can have the groove uh, option, which then gives you a little bit of movement around the grid. So I'm gonna put it on groove mode, and then we'll just have a, a little play. So we start with a simple hi-hat loop, now we're going to add some kick drum and snare drum. And you can see where you are in the loop by the lights that come along here. Okay, so now we've got kick drum, snare drum, hi-hat pattern. And you could carry on, you could add on other layers and things. I'm going to keep it quite simple uh, for this demonstration. We've got our drum track. Now let's move over to the bass. So again, we can look in the presets here. Let's pick something quite natural sounding. Uh, this one is quite nice. And again, if you wanted to have the arpeggiator, fun with the arpeggiator. Again, we're going to turn that off for this one. 
Uh, I'm just going to come up with a simple bass line for this song. So again, let's hit record and you'll see the lights go across when it gets to the end. It's going to come back to the start of the loop and then we're going to play. then move on to the chord setting. Now if we look in presets again, one that I thought was quite interesting is this angelic piano. Uh, it features the glide uh, function of the chorder quite nicely. So so gliding between chords there. Another nice feature of the chorder is this end bridge here. And when you use the bridge on the chord mode, so if you select a chord, you can then strum that chord. You can play individual notes within that chord as well. Um, I don't think that's quite right for this song though, so I'm going to uh, try this one. It's sort of a funky electric piano sound. These pads are also touch sensitive, so if you hit them hard, you get a harder sound. If you get them quietly, you can get a softer sound as well. And again with these, you can also strum the chord, which is really nice. Okay, so uh, let's add a little bit of uh, chord structure to this then. Maybe let's try this one, what's this like? So we could try that. Let's, uh, if we want to replace that chord section, we can go into the settings here, hit clear chord loop, and then we just start again. Okay, so now we've got that, uh, we can now just try any sound that we fancy. So what about this, what's Daydream? Let's try that. And we can just play it back. Okay, quite like that. Uh, so now we can just play with some, some lead parts. So if you want to play an arpeggiated sequence with the lead, um, you can select one note, for example, and then you can add in different notes. Okay, anyway, let's try this one. It's quite fun. I can turn off the arpeggiator. So I'm gonna hit record. Once you've got to this point, you might then want to elaborate on the song. You might want to change some sounds. You might want to add other layers. Um, and at this point, you're then able to export that song as MIDI. You can export them to separate tracks so you can in import them into your favorite music creation software, whatever that may be. Um, and it's very compatible. You can also use this as a MIDI instrument as well. So you don't even have to use the inbuilt sounds at all. You can connect this directly into your music creation software of choice. I've really enjoyed using this over the last few days. Uh, I'm not really a musician. I'm a drummer, if you can call that a musician. I tend to like making music really by ear. One thing that might annoy you is the fact that you are stuck in a pentatonic scale. So if you wanted to use a different scale, that currently isn't a feature. I wonder if they will update that in a future version. Would be a very simple thing to do, I imagine, through the app. I think it offers a big upgrade from the Orber. The, the only downside really is that it takes up more room, but then you get the the, the ease of playing uh, from the bigger form factor. And I think the Corder is a possibly a more grown up version of the Orba. So that's the Artiphone Corder. Just a reminder about that 10% discount. First 10 people to use that discount will have 10% off their order.
We've got more videos coming along very soon and we're hoping to offer exclusive discounts on every one. So consider turning on the notifications so that you can be one of the first to see the video and get yourself that discount. See you on the next video.